Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Enderal. Now, when we left off, we had just arrived at Fortress Fogwatch, and we are now attempting to make our way through the very, very deep depths. Oh, deep depths. How, how wonderfully redundant is that? Oh, well, anyway, we're going to be making our way through this very creepy area, and apparently this is actually where we need to go. I actually don't believe that. I think that... I may have made a mistake in coming down here. Rune Mace, is that worth it? 15? No, I don't think that's actually worth it, taking 15 weight for only 107. Oh, hello there. Oh, no. No, I don't... No, that's that's the wrong spells. I just resummoned my soil elemental, so that's the reason that happened. Okay, that's a lost one. So where's where's my elemental? Can you, can you please help me a little bit? Can you just kill that? I only need you to do a little bit of damage, please. Only a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, it's about time that you killed that. Do you, do you want to? Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, that's good. So, yes, there's that. That is now dead, which is good. And this requires the key, which, of course, we can now open. Well, not now open. We could always open it because he gave us the key. But anyway, let's continue onward. And we're going to see what is down here. It's very dark. Oh, of course, of course, my elemental cannot come with us. So let's get him back. There we go. Okay, what's going on here? Oh no, these mushrooms. Wait, do they do they affect arcane fever? Or no? No, apparently not. Well, that's a little bit weird, I gotta say. Okay. I thought they would. Is there anything to interact with here? I have a feeling that there's probably going to be something really important here. Well, there's research papers. Obviously, we need that. Ah, okay, so, on Enderal to this date, unknown species of fungus multiplied astoundingly swiftly in the buckets of the laboratory of Fortress Fogwatch. The trader was already mindful of whether the spores even survived the long storage time, hence the cheap price. Now I planted a first colony in some rocks protected by, protected by rocks in the nearby woods to study the growing cycle in the wild. Therefore, let's get to the actual research report. Okay, externally viewed, the mushrooms can be extinguished in, can be distinguished in a reddish to purple and a bluish to cyan type, whereby they are male and female character characteristics. A thin stem bears the fruiting body, which is depending on how many nutrients are present. Yes, of course, this is obviously talking about the mushrooms that cause us to almost die because of the arcane fever thing. So. It was all in vain. My arrogance is costing me and my descendants everything. The mushrooms have developed into an unstoppable plague. My experiment has not yet been linked with the outbreak. However, I'm losing everything that is important to me. Oh, wow. Okay. My son will not be able to follow my footsteps. I will flee with him so he may not bear the blame of my failure in the future. I'm also losing my health. My body decomposes. I inhale the spores of these terrible mushrooms for far too long. Wow. Wow. The mushrooms are vastly more powerful than I could have imagined. They pervade the earth, contaminate the water, pollute the air. Even the weather seems to bend down to it and protects them with a thick cloud layer against the sun, which was my last hope to dry them out. I'm sorry that we had to flee, my son. I'm sorry for Inya that my love to you made me blind, blind to my failure. I'm sorry for every living being which will fall victim to the infested part of the woods. I am dreadfully sorry. So, wow, that is... Wow, they, they are his notes, and these are the mushrooms in question. I hope that they will not affect me right now, because I don't really want to die. That would, that would be kind of sad. Wait, do they? Ah. Oh, no. These are the mushroom samples that I actually need to get. Okay, well, that's good to know. That is good to know, because I was a little bit worried about maybe getting killed from the arcane fever when I went close to them, but no, I don't need to worry about that. So there you go. We've picked them all up. And now, ah, oh, I see. Oh, okay, so now now we have a choice. We can go back to Baal Hazel in the Undercity or deliver them to the Apothecary in the Sun Temple as they are too dangerous. I think we're going to take it back to the original quest giver because that's what we, you know, well, that's what he asked us to do. And I don't know, is he trying to hide this? Is he trying to cover it up? Or is he trying to try and find a way to fix things? 
Well, either way, we do have to kill these guys. There we go. Oh, no. I missed. Well, that's great. Okay, so I need to get another mage light going here. Okay, so get another focus up. And is he, is he dead? No, that's another one. Okay. A single... Ah, single spell I was hoping for there. Okay, apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, so let's get... Mm, I, I think we should probably... Uh, let's drink some wine. Let's drink some wine. Why not? Sounds like a fun, fun idea. Okay, I'm ready for you. Or am I? It doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. Okay. Come on, come on, Elemental. you got to help me a little bit. Yes. Yes, nice damage. Nice damage. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Are they all dead? Did they all die? I hope so. That seems reasonable. Oh, I really need to eat something as well, don't I? Okay, let's have... Hmm... What do we want to have here? Roasted salmon, I guess? Why not? Any other enemies? I don't really want to go in here while I'm so low in HP, but I just want to make sure that they're all dead. But obviously that is kind of counterintuitive, because if they decide, hey, you know what, we're not dead, then I'm probably going to end up dying myself, so... Whoa. Oh, Selma's Fists. And that is a set item. There's a spell tome there. Potions, things like that. Okay, well, don't really need to worry about that. There seems to be a human heart and some other things that we don't really want to... Yes, there's my elemental going. We don't really want to bother with that. Okay, a Rune Dagger of Ambush. Wow. Well, if you're a sneak user, then obviously that is going to be pretty nice. There's the key. To the fortress. Anything else here? No, just a basket. And hmm. Well, that that seems to be it. Okay, so let's take a look at Selma's fists because apparently that's pretty decent. It's a ah, yeah, I thought so. It's a heavy armor piece, which of course is part of the Selma's wings set. Is it? I I would assume so. So let's put these on. What do I get? I get set bonus one. Which is what? Well, of course I can't tell that here. So let's go to magic. And what do we currently have on us? Well, I think we have to go over... Where? Is it here? Yes, there we go. Okay, so what do we have? Where is it? Selna's set piece. Okay, fortify hell. No, that's not it, is it? I don't think so. I think I need to go down here. No, there's the weird fever. No. Ah, regenerates. No, that's the that's the fists. Ah, fortify two-handed. No, that's that's also that. Where is the set bonus? I can't see the set bonus for some reason. Ah, there it is. Okay, so that increases my health by twelve. So I suppose that's fine. I'm gonna actually just leave that because it doesn't seem to do anything adverse to us. Because otherwise, I would be using this. I believe. Yeah. They're my old gloves, and they don't actually do anything. They just give me stamina region, and these give me stamina region anyway, so might as well use the, the better set and get a set bonus and things like that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so. Is there anything else down here that I need to look at? Well, there is certainly... Oh, no. Ah, there is another enemy. I thought there was. I, I didn't think we killed all of them. Okay, well, easy enough. <laughs> I think I probably need to spec into some shock skills, because these shock skills seem to be extremely effective. Whoa, that was creepy. I actually thought that was some sort of wraith or shade, but no, it was just a picture. Just a picture. Yeah, well, I know how scary pictures can be at times when placed in the right areas. Oh, yes. And there we go. Now we can use the key and exit and hopefully not get killed by any mushrooms because you know how mushrooms are apparently in this neck of the woods. Oh no, it seems not. It seems we have reached the exit once again. Yep, there we go. Wow, that was that was really nice. Okay. That actually went really well. We got a new new pair of gloves, I guess. We got a cloak as well, which makes us look actually really kind of awesome.
And we also completed the quest, of course, without dying too many times. Actually, we didn't die at all, which was mainly thanks to the soil elemental. Actually, thanks only to that, because, yes, he was just able to carry me through all of that, which was fantastic. Okay, we're now back in the daylight. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so, ah, oh, where do I have to go? I have to go to the Undercity, don't I? So I'm going to be doing that. Ooh, I like the gloves. I think the gloves look really cool, like an evil sorcerer. Mm. Even though we're technically not that evil. Even though we do have a cloak now, so maybe. I mean, look at that. That looks really nice. I like that. It, oh, I, know who our, I know who our character looks like now. If any of you are familiar with Warcraft in general, then Medivh. I think Medivh. This is what we look like. We look like Medivh. Actually, we do. When he has his hood up, we look very much like that, so... That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, because he was a very strong sorcerer, wizard person himself, so... I like that. I mean, if we just turn around here... Look at that. Looks like Medivh, very much so. Well, kind of, I guess. So, anyway, I'm going to now head to the nice Undercity, way. and... We're going to try and find the fellow that gave us the quest. Alright, so it seems as though we found him, and I don't know whether this is the right thing to do, but he seemed very, shall we say, guilty and very remorseful in his notes, so I am basically just going on that, because I don't want to take the law into my own hands if he is feeling bad about it, because obviously, maybe he's going to try and rectify things, and maybe he's going to find some way to destroy the shrooms once and for all. Ah, there you are. Had any luck? Yes, I have, and you were right. Your grandfather really was responsible for this plague. Oh, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I apparently absolutely forgot what was going on with this quest, because it's been a long time, but apparently that was his grandfather's notes rather than his notes. But if he's trying to correct things, because obviously being the race or being from the country where he's, where he's actually from, he takes on the blame and the, the, shall we say, the guilt of previous generations. So that's why he is doing what he's doing. I feared as much, and why? Please, there has to be a reason. One that explains it all. Your grandfather was a poor alchemist and wanted to impress that noblewoman. He thought causing the plague and then curing it would win him her favor. I'm going to tell the truth. I think that was actually what happened. What? That? By the name of the sun? I can't believe it. What? <laughs> what about the rest? Did you find any samples? If there is any chance I can free the Hazels from the shame my grandfather caused, I have to take it. I can cure the plague. I just know it. I implored your intentions, but experimenting with those mushrooms here in Ark is dangerous. Very dangerous. Only if they were being handled by a fool, which I am not. Please, I can imagine how this sounds to you, but I know what I am doing. If you don't give me the samples, there's no way I can atone. Hmm. Okay, the plague was your grandfather's doing, not yours. You don't have to atone for anything. The apothecary will get the samples. Or, fine then, here are the samples. Find that cure. I'm actually going to trust him. I am actually going to trust him. If I don't trust him, then the entirety of Ark will be killed by the shrooms. But, I don't think he's going to make a mistake. He seems very, very steadfast in his belief. So, I think we're going to just trust him. Thank you. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Here's your pay. And take this. You truly earned it. I'm in my laboratory now. There's much to do. Walk blessed, my friend. Alright, so he gave us 150 coins and an apothecarius elixir, as well as 1100 experience. Pretty nice. We're almost to the next level, which is kind of cool. So let's check out the Apothecarius Elixir. So what does this do? So this regenerates 40 health for 4 seconds, cures all diseases, and regenerates 20 mana for 2 seconds. Kind of a bit meh. I, I don't really Hello. don't really need that. Oh, what? What? Was that? 
Did he just say hello in a young man's voice? Hello. D did you hear that? Hello. <laughs> well, that's that's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. But is hello. is he is he okay now? Is he okay? I I guess so. I guess that's it. That is absolutely it. So all we have to do now, technically, is wait until the meeting is prepared. I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite soon. So I will be returning to the Sun Temple and going from there. But for now, I will end this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.